Did Amada say anything about why he was heading to the rot? Afraid not. He was a man of few words. Sounds like him. Did he look okay to you? More or less. He seemed shaken when we learned the tunnel had collapsed behind us. But then again, so was everyone around here. So you're a scout for this crew. Anything I should know about the area? Where to start? Down south, we've got a trio of Osirum trying to delve into the ruins in the sand. Moreland and his showman. Yeah, that's the fellow. They're quite a spectacle on their own, let me tell you. And then there are all the other folk who broke away as soon as we got to this side of the tunnel. Salvagers, explorers, all sorts of daring venturers. Just how many of you were there? Enough to lose track, that's for sure. I've also spotted some rebels a while back, too. Seems like they've been patrolling the desert. Heard all about the rebellion from the Tanakh up in Scalding Spear. That's the Desert Clan's capital, north of here. Sounds like you've really gotten to know the area. It's what I do. What happened when you went through the tunnel? Nothing. Our crew split into two groups to pass through. Everyone here was part of the first crossing. Aside from some pitch black passages, it was quiet. Whatever befell the second group spared us. Steel Spark be praised. But you best talk to Porkov about that. He knows a bit more than I do. Thanks, Raggart. This has been helpful. Hope you find him. Okay, I'll head for Thormarsh. Meet me there. Hold on. What? You're willing to go to the ends of Tanakh's territory to find this guy. No hesitation. Of course, he's one man alone in the Forbidden West. I'm just worried about him. I think it's more than that. I'll meet you near the Lowland capital. But then, you're going to tell me who Amadis really is. Fine. I'll lay low, north of the village. See you there. Okay. Okay. Back in the day, the sun liquors were driven out at the dawn by the Tanakh. Have a look around this camp. Shall I pick up some of these other? Actually, let's look at, um, well, I'm, I think I looked at my, tried to upgrade some stuff not long ago, don't think I, hmm, have enough stuff to, to upgrade, and enough ingredients in that. Okay, so I might just, I might just pick up some of these other ones just to. Now she's in the wild, all alone. Forge knows all the things that could kill her out there. Someone ran off. Never got her name. Kept quiet. Couldn't tell if she was shy or scared. All I know is she didn't want anyone near her things. That's for sure. I was just curious, is all. She didn't have to slug me. Your glass jaw ain't the problem, Lugnut. The girl is. All alone in the bush? And this is Tanakh territory. Which way did she go? West, up the slope. Look for her if you can. I will. Careful now. The girl's maladjusted. I hear the Tanakh are fighting each other quite a bit these days. Some of them contain machines. Those you've got to be real careful of. We've seen a whole bunch of them setting up outposts around here. They even set up camp in the south. Really helps a fellow sleep at night. Just make sure you steer clear of them. 
Food. Those rebels are bad business. Let's just get this. Keep an eye out for them while I'm out here. Are you up. lost? Spark to steal. Aren't you a jewel in a junk heap? Excuse me? Hold the hammer. I know you. You're that Nora. <laughs> the savior. My savior. Right in the nick of time. The name's Poor Guff Delvesman. Chief Delver and leader of Poor Guff's expeditioners and purveyors of fine Delveware. What am I saving you from, exactly? Death and despair, my steel flame friend. See, this grand expedition here has had a, a minor setback. Not far from here, there's a secret tunnel. A passage of the old ones, lost and then found. Me and half the crew came through first. The other half was supposed to follow right after. But days later, only one man turned up, shivering like a frog in chill water. Only thing we got out of him was that death and darkness chased them as the tunnel collapsed. Died with his eyes wide, he did. I've been to the tunnel's eastern side. The way was blocked by rubble. There was also a body. One of your delvers, I guess, but... No sign of the rest of the crew. Keep your voice down, will you? The rest of the crew's already spooked. They're refusing to press on with the delve until they're assured a way out of here. You lost half your crew and you're worried about the delve. We gotta make their sacrifice worth something, right? And besides... Now that you're here, maybe our sand-stranded days are over. Help me get that tunnel reopened, and I'll cut you in on the Delver's fee. What do you say? How did you learn about this secret tunnel? The art of the Delve, of course. A Delver's only as good as his nose sense for good sights. All right, fine. I heard about three Osram who knew a way to bypass those bloodthirsty Tanakh. Tap the untouched Delves of the West. So then I may have employed someone with the know-how for finding and following. A spy. Look, if the rumors are true, there's enough delving to employ a dozen operations. But someone has to take the first plunge, establish a base camp, set up a reliable supply route, guard the site against machines. Figures the Osram would turn sand into shards, I guess. Exactly. What do you know about this area? Well, north of here you got those vicious Tanakh. I heard rumor they drink blood instead of water. That's how they survive this wasteland. And south, it has it all. Death, desert, and the delve. Imagine, if you will, a vast grave of the old ones. Ruins of twisted metal concealed by the sands. All guarded by machines. So fierce that you'll wish you had a flock of glint hawks swooping down on you instead. Not even the Tanakh venture into the ruins' depths. Only the bravest explorers dare enter. I've been down there. Have you now? I've yet to lay eyes on the treasures myself, but I will, eventually. So this camp, it's your base of operations? What operations? The plan was to move further south once the rest of the expedition joined us. The delve is right out beyond those dunes. But now the crew refuses to budge until this tunnel mess gets sorted out. They've even given this place a name. Camp Nowhere. I think they're mocking me. Yeah. I think they are. I'll see what I can do about the tunnel. Ha <laughs> ha! My savior. For the crew trapped here with you, not your delve. One and the same. That it? Over there? That it is. Oh, and while you're at it, would you mind keeping an eye out for my lockbox? The second crew was supposed to bring the rest of the supplies and belongings. I'd hate to lose it to the wilds. It was hand-carved by my dear old ma. I'll bring it back if I find it. I'd appreciate it. Good luck, Still Flame. Not my they hide all kinds of shit.
feels cooler. Sun's going down. Every May our blades strike us one. Good day. You're no ordinary. First to a fool. You think the enemy's going to go easy on you? Just May fall, honor guide you. My pack has room. You've earned our trust. You've earned this soldier's respect. Thorn Marsh. Quite a sight, isn't it? Never thought I'd find myself this deep in Tanakh territory. Have you run into any trouble? I've been keeping my head down. Had to duck into the swamps a couple of times to avoid Tanakh patrols. Well, I'm here now, so spill it. Who is Amatis, really? Like I said before, he helped me put a stop to a hunter-killer machine out in the wilds. At first, he thought I was just another hunter from the Lodge who only cared about the biggest machine trophy. And I thought he was just a grouchy hermit living in the woods. But then, he trusted me with the truth. Told me how the Red Raids took everything from him. Seeing that side of him, I don't know, changed things. You love him, don't you? I think I might, yeah. Then why did you part ways? When he told me how he failed to save the woman from his past, I told him how I made peace with my father and brother's deaths. He realized he needed to do the same on his own. Wait. When we searched that Red Raid's battlefield together, you said he'd lost someone close to him there. I thought you meant a fellow soldier. She was. Women aren't allowed to serve in the Karja army, but Nessa disguised herself so she could. Amadis kept her secret. When he left to come out west, he promised he'd send word that he was all right, but his letter never came. So you set out to find him. And when we do, I'll have words for him for leading us on this wild goose chase. Well, at least I kind of understand now. Amadis thought Nessa died on the battlefield, but when he learned that the Tanakhs took prisoners back west, he kept going. So I guess now we find this prison, the Rot. I did some scouting while I was waiting. I think I might have found the way. Lead on then. Okay. Do you might still be alive? I doubt it. Any Karja prisoners from the Red Raids uh -oh. would have been killed or returned home by now. 
Then what's Amadis after? I think he just needs to know. Just needs to know. How difficult this one will be. Or um, extra stock for later. I don't think I've been doing that great at sort of um I don't know um upgrading. <laughs> Maybe going to find cop of the cauldrons or whatever. I just keep doing the quests. So get as many. Oh, the huh. trap here. You flaming hunk of scrap. That's him. Oh, that fire claws right on his heels. There's no match for the wrong. Come on. We've got you. Solana? We've got your back. Uh oh. Have I got any? Oh. Oi! to pick up another one of those ha. over here you flaming hunk of scrap that's him oh, that fire claws right on his heels come on got you Solana? we've got your back not now I got you covered take this ammo we get the Think you can dodge my arrow? Oh! Stay clear of it. Ah, oh. damn. No.
Give me that, Mike. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Darn it. What's the mic? Say, where is it? That's him. Fire claws right on his heels. Oh. Come on. Got you. We got your back. Not now. Oh. Oh. 
so. No. Oh. Oh, well. Oh. Oi. Oi. Okay. Nearly I've been well on um, so. Oh. I hate when I miss him now. Oh. No. Got it. Oh no, I'm not. Well, not that. Come on. Oh. 
I got it. We down. Hey, he got it. I'll get all of its resources. craft any thing <laughs> that no fire almost fire though Talana, I... You were supposed to let me know you were okay. I was going to send the message right after I crossed into the desert with an Asaram caravan. But when it became clear that the tunnel had collapsed behind us, I figured the only thing I could do was press on. Seeing as you found a way out here, however, clearly I was wrong. I'm sorry. The last thing I wanted was to worry you. So, you must be a modest. And you must be Aloy. Talana's told me a lot about you. And I guess you must know about me. Uh, a little. We know you're headed for the rot. But where are you hoping to find there? A clue. Or a shred of one. Anything about Ness's fate. Maybe she died on the battlefield. Or maybe she wasted away in that prison. Either way, I have to know. Talana told me about you and Nessa during the Red Raids, but you kept her secret. We were both assigned to the Southern Spear Division. Our orders were to push into Tanakh territory through the tunnel. She was proud to serve the Sundan at first, but as the atrocities mounted, we both saw the raids for what they were. And the two of you grew close? We did what we could to protect innocent lives. It felt like we were the only ones who objected to the slaughter. And, yes, we were close, until the Battle of the Burning Blooms. What happened at the Battle of the Burning Blooms? I had intel that the Tanakh forces were greater than we had anticipated. I tried to convince my commander to halt the attack. He was a drunken lout. And when I threatened to reveal his incompetence to Karja High Command, he pulled a knife on me. So I... Killed him. In self-defense. It was still murder. I was condemned. But I thought at least I could still save Nessa. I was too late. By the time I got to the battle, the fields were already burning. Our soldiers slaughtered or missing. What's more, the commander I had killed was from a powerful noble house. They put a bounty on my head. I've been on the run ever since. But the red raids are long over. Sun King Avad would pardon you if he knew... The Sun King can't help me. A pardon from Avad won't stop bounty hunters eager to claim their prize. So, you and Talana, um, sounds like the two of you had an adventure out in the wilds. Claw Striders, a hunter killer, mercenaries, a shell snapper, nothing could get in our way. A scruffy hermit in the woods certainly tried. That was foolish of him, in hindsight. Well, we're here now, so let's head to the rot. I can't ask you to come with me. I feel bad enough you've come this far. I didn't come all this way just to leave you now. We'll see this through together. I know better than to try to talk you out of it. Come then. The rot's not far. 
The rock's along the shore, but we'll have to stick to the woods to avoid being seen. Well... How did you find it? I overheard a Tanuk patrol from the nearby village talking about it. Figured it out from there. What were you gonna do if we hadn't found you? Take it on alone? I only need to question one guard. Figured I'd grab someone when they're by themselves. Well, now you have us. We're getting close. Just a little further. Just a little further. Coming. You return, so let's continue. There it is. The rot. Those are Regal's rebels. They're waging civil war against the rest of the Tanakh. They must have taken over the prison. Then they would have killed any of the guards. They were my last hope of finding out if Nessa was there. Maybe not. There might still be some clue inside. Even after all this time? Aloy can see much more than you or I. And let's do it. Any scrap of hope is better than nothing. We'll have to find another way in. The front gate looks impenetrable. And there's no way we're scaling those walls. You two stay here. I'll see if I can find another way in and get that gate open. I should check around the sides. Might be a way in from the water. And then find them entrance to the what? No. You open the gate, we'll be right over the way out. Find an entrance. Don't worry about us. Get that gate open. Around the river, I think. Okay. Well, uh, maybe not then. I'll dry off. Eventually. Did you see that too? Darn it. They mean not learned. Oh no, I've been, I've been spotted.
Maybe around here. Let Talana and Amadison. Wait a minute. Oh. Just for case, honey. False alarm. Call it off. You have to get a hold of yourself. If the low armor don't join us, we should gut him off. Data, some data there. Deathbringer gun. Ooh. Where's the gate? Can I open it from the side or? I can't... Uh, damn it. No. Oh crap, I <laughs> Everything clear? Could use some grub. Like some of that cooking from salt pipe. Oh. Mm -hmm. If I can get the main gate open, Delana and Amatis can help me clear out the rest of this place.
Let me just get this um, charge from this guy. Um. Get the main gate open. Talana and Amadis can help me clear out the rest of this place. I'm tired of patrols. They're our first line of defense. We'd better start looking. I've got your back. Ah! Um. Never mind. 
Stay alert. Maybe we missed something. Oh, never. Men. Who's the better hunter? You two, follow me. I'm with you. Oh wait, mm -hmm. oh, that's, uh, don't want to be shooting him, really. Bet I can strike quicker than you. Still another one. Oh shit! I'm gonna get my health up. Oh, uh, no, <laughs> I'm not again. Who saw that? Let's make it quick, right? We should give it up. We were right to have a look around. Done it. If I can get the main gate open, Delana and yes, Alice can help me clear the rest of this place. Come on, not enough wood for that. Or even acid. <laughs> 